Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks. So I just want to bring attention to you, something that has just come to attention to me, that ASD Rocks seems to have just gone onto another level. It's been running now for quite a number of years and we always knew that we wanted to help people everywhere, all around the world. We didn't know how popular it would get. We didn't know. All we knew was that by giving an insight into our life and our struggles and our successes and our failures, we would be able to help people everywhere. I originally spoke to Bo and Finn about that and about what being on the internet means and as you would if you've been with our um, page from the beginning you will have seen their consent and their understanding uh, they're much older now and I talk to them on a regular basis about what it means and they're both in control of the content they do and don't want to have put on there now The reason that I'm making this video is we seem to have hit a new stratosphere and you will notice that the videos that you may have commented on or you may have watched have gone up by 20,000 and there are some people making some comments which are not to do with what we're talking about um, it's just sort of being cannon foddered out there uh, the mess there are also a lot of messages at the moment my days are basically filled with filtering through all of the messages that are coming through uh, those that are just wrong um, and uh, not wrong in the way you're thinking perhaps um, <laughs> But there's a couple of things that I want to address immediately. Number one, no one can get to my boys, okay? The boys do not have access to the messages. No one can send a message to them, so don't bother trying. Uh, they are, it is filtered for them, and they are shown the ones that I believe and deem worthy. Now, keep in mind, I am an extremely protective mother. I will not let my children be exposed to anything negative uh, that they don't have to be exposed to and so on that hand uh, don't bother uh, people trying to get in touch directly with them if you are not of any good intentions um, as I said they do have and do have a foot they do have a proper understanding and full consent on what goes on it's a joint project they get to say I do or I don't want that on or yes it's okay even if it's videos from the past they're shown so they know um, but they will not see who likes it they will not see the comments they do not even have Facebook so don't even bother in fact neither of my boys are on any social media they're not on snapchat they're not on Insta they're not on Facebook so um, don't bother trying to get through to them that's number one number two I completely understand that once you hit the world stage, this is gonna happen and it doesn't bother me, not in the slightest. Uh, it's something that, you know, by launching onto the next stratosphere, so to speak, I knew that in the 20 to 40 to now some posts which have hit 40,000 overnight, um, in that 40,000, you're going to get 80% really good people and people that are honest and true and want to use this page for what is intended to. You're going to get 20% who disagree, have no problem with that at all. And then you're going to get 20% who are just downright evil human beings. And they're the ones I'm really addressing this to. But um, more importantly, I'm addressing this also to my soul tribe, um, my ASD rock stars who have been on this journey with us for such a long time, who may feel just as protective of the kids as I am. And I want you to know that they are 100% protected. They do not see these comments. So if you see something coming up that you feel is inappropriate, if you've commented on something that all of a sudden there's 40 comments on, they're being deleted, they're being banned from the page, 
do not get concerned because it is not affecting the kids or me in one way or another. I am actually really happy and really grateful that um, in the last week, I guess it was the week in bed, because I've had two weeks after the operation in bed, um, that I basically spent my entire time just doing ASD rock stuff and you know I guess it pays off when you spend time on social media really sort of working at honing it and learning to understand it but the safety of my family and my children has is and will always come first so don't uh I, what I would number one what I want to do out there that with this uh message is to let my soul tribe let my ASD rockers know to ignore any comments that come up from that 20% out of the 40 to 50,000 people um, who are deviates. And also to remember that everybody is entitled to their opinion. Okay, that's really, really important. Um, we do not discuss politics. We do not discuss vaccinations. We do not discuss curing. That is not what this, um, what this page is for. This page is to help people regardless of their opinions, okay? So everybody is allowed and entitled to their opinion. Uh, we have a strict no bullying, um, policy and actually so funny I misinterpreted one person bullying and I almost banned them um, and it turns out she was bullying her best friend and it was an in joke that I didn't get so I am always on this platform I am always reading the comments I am always making sure that everyone is behaving in the way that they should behave um, so yeah to the 80% of genuine, beautiful human beings out there, this is an amazing thing. We have, we've just pushed through um, from our little baby community here and we're gonna have to expect, we're gonna get some, you know, some bad with the good, but I am celebrating, I'm truly celebrating the fact that we are now internationally going bananas and, um, and that is through hard work and time and effort of everybody in this family. And I will continue to help everybody that needs the help. And I will continue to ensure that the boys have their input and their rights protected and their say on what they do and don't feel comfortable with. So, mwah, ASD rocks, guys. <laughs>